The Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, tricky forecast over the next couple of days. Got a nice looking front slowly oozing into the area. Think of it as molasses behind the front. We have uh, still warm southwesterly winds, so lots of precip behind this front. But that's mainly going to be in Texas, northern Louisiana. But we can't rule out scattered showers at any time tonight through tomorrow. Maybe lower rain chances as we get throughout the day. But got to maintain about a 40% on your rain chances tonight through about midday tomorrow. Then we'll gradually tone it down to about 30 to 20% by this time tomorrow evening. So on the radar today ahead of that front, we did have a couple of strong thunderstorms uh, get going across portions of Acadia and into St. Landry Parish. One strong enough that the National Weather Service issued a tornado, a tornado warning for uh, right around 3 o'clock to about 3.30 this afternoon. But we just saw uh, pretty much a broad circulation in the clouds, but nothing that reached the ground and no reports of damage. So good news there. And uh, as we look what's going on right Right now you can see that activity generally moving from the south to the north uh, with most of the activity primarily in Iberia Parish at this hour. Few spotty showers here and there, but some locally heavy downpours still showing up right along Highway 90 crossing over to Highway 182 between Lydia, uh, New Iberia, just northwest of Generet, and then moving over toward uh, Lauraville and then over toward Catahoula and then that activity will continue to move off to the north. So still some rain chances overnight tonight, maybe a rumble of thunder, but no severe weather expected. Our Predictive radar model indicating maybe a little bit of a break during the overnight hours. You see that overrunning rains back to the west where the cool air is. But notice with the front sitting right across, uh, late, let's say, southeast Louisiana, the chance of showers and storms, especially early tomorrow, and then maybe diminishing a little bit as the day wears on. But that's per the predictive radar. We'll take a look at future casts in just a bit. Actually, could make an argument for two fronts. One, a wind shift line that came on through this afternoon. By the way, 92. 91 in Lafayette, 93 in New Iberia today. Hopefully we're done with the 90s for now. And then you get back to the west. You see temperatures in the 70s, 60s, and then 50s, and then 40s as you get into Texas. And that's where the real cool air has been throughout the day. Dallas staying in the 40s all day long today. Notice Brownsville at 1 o'clock this afternoon, 91 degrees. The heat index was 108, and that front came barreling through the lower Rio Grande Valley. And now temperatures are in the 50s, so a 40 temperature. Uh, degree uh, change over roughly about a nine hour period. And again, you see those cooler numbers to the north and west. We don't see 40s with this, uh, maybe upper 50s. But again, uh, with the front kind of stalling out, we're going to have a uh, mild to warm conditions south of the front, breezy and cool conditions well to the north of the front. And Lafayette is kind of in between. I'm going for 60s uh, for temperatures tomorrow throughout the day based on what we think may happen. Usually the cooler, dense air winds out over the warm and humid air. But but we'll have to wait and see, but we do know it's going to be much cooler central Louisiana on northward, much milder to warm over southeast Louisiana. And then by tomorrow night into early Wednesday, the cool air beginning to dominate. Notice the clouds though sticking around, so it's certainly going to feel and look like fall as we go into Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon as well. Temperature wise, this is what we have for you as we head into tomorrow morning. Temperatures ranging upper 60s, Lafayette, lower 60s to 50s off to the north and west and 70s down to the southeast and then tomorrow I'm going to keep it in the 60s in Lafayette, but notice we'll have 50s Leesville, Alexandria and 80s down toward Morgan City. So it's going to be a tale of two cities and two fronts. Temperatures cool nicely upper 50s tomorrow night and Wednesday upper 60s to near 70 once again. So scattered showers turning breezy and cooler by morning, especially to the north and west. And I spelled especially wrong there. Sorry about that. Feeling fall like indeed for tomorrow. Breezy and cool. 69 the high in Lafayette. Warmer to the south, cooler to the north. And there we go. Lots of clouds feeling like fall. Sunny skies for Thursday, but clouding up again, warming up again toward the end of the week before the next front arrives next weekend. And the next weekend is front maybe a little bit cooler and we still have to maintain some rain chances behind that mm -hmm. front as well. All right. Thanks, Rob.